It's Scott. It is Sunday. What is it? The 12th. June 12th. And we are about to start on our next kit. So I thought I'd do a quick video with the build. Um, this is my little cubby hole. I don't know if you can see it. But this is where we do the modeling. Here's my model desk. And that is our new build. Um, got a heck of a deal on that on eBay. But, um, we'll give you a tour real quick before we open that puppy. I finally figured out what my common denominator is with my models. Um, here's the first one. We all know her. Um, award winner. Give you a real quick close-up of her. It's a ship. It's obviously the Titanic. And then the first one was this U-boat. Also, won a few awards for that one. And my latest build that took about a, ooh, two years is the Polar Lights Enterprise. Fully done. Um, lighting kits installed, everything. Also an award winner. So what do all these have in common? Well, heck, they're all ships. One form or fashion. The U-boat. My Titanic. Obviously, that big girl up there. And so, so is this. It is a ship. <clears throat> and I've been wanting to do this. I actually built this as a kid. Big monster. Or I was just really short. Anyway, I don't think it's the same size. God, the prices on the big ones are incredible. Um, and then, that gets me in preparation for this monster. That is a one to, oh, don't get me lying, 196, I think it is. No, one to 96. USS Constitution that I got for a fraction of its original price. So here we are. Here's all the modeling things. I have a brand new airbrush I haven't even opened yet. I'm still using an old Badger. And then that's going to be the ultimate build. That was my Bismarck, one to 350 to Mia. Um, some small kids got a hold of it. I started the build nine, oh no, I'm lying to you, 12 years ago. And believe it or not, all the parts are still there. I was going to do a water line, but this is my little area. And so we'll just do a little quick thing. What's this? Well, they're high-end marble. Smooth sides. But why do I have these? Well, they're great for photo etch. They're great for detail work, but underneath it, to go with my Rebel is also the tower, the LUT or um, the launch tower that everybody's used to. What's really cool though is it's not a model, it's paper. So like right there is the base, replaces this goofy base that comes with this model. So um, you fold it together and it becomes the, the in scale proper uh, launch tower that goes with that. The reason it's under here is because it came in a, cil you know, a cylinder tube in the mail and it's taken a while for me to flatten it out. I should flip it over because I'm going to keep it under here while I paint. So I might just go ahead and do that. But I wanted to, you know, I've always hated these model um, videos that are just, what do they call them, unboxing ones. But I'm going to go ahead and do one because I want a complete thing here. The challenge on this, some side shots here. The really, the hardest part of this whole model is the paint drop. And even that, uh, I've got enough research on my system um, to take a look. But if you can notice, there's ribbing in here. Let me see if I can get you a close up without, see how it's ribbed? problem is, when you just use plain old masking tape, um, it doesn't really get a nice solid uh, lock down. And so you always have bleeding, and it's a never-ending battle. But, a couple vendors, GM being one of them, have built stretchable, moldable, curvable vinyl tape. So I can put it right in there, and I can stop that bleeding from occurring between this vented area, the ribbed area, on the model. So here it is. Wow, that's a lot, huh? 
That's funny. I think I had more pieces just on putting the people on the Titanic um, than I did on this whole model. But again, it's something I've been fascinated with ever since I was a kid. Do I believe we've made it to the moon? I didn't for quite some time. I thought it was a hoax until I saw the, the recent Chinese film of our landing sites back in the 60s. So maybe we did get past the, the Van Allen belt. So anyway, this is where we're starting. Uh, my next step is going to be cover everything in newspaper. And so when it comes to priming, I already got the gray primer ready to go. I got all my paints. I got my airbrush. Like I said, I have a brand new Iowa. Uh, no, it's posh actually. It's back down there. You can see it. I don't know if I'm ready to really try that. It is a double action double pressure and boy I just haven't had any time to practice with it my has been a little compressor so we'll keep you abreast of what's going on here and the next step should be probably see this place all set up papered up so I'm not spraying all over the house and hopefully we'll see uh, these parts all primed so anyway hey it's good to be back in the saddle again and I will talk to you all soon